hello loves welcome back and thank you for clicking if you are new to my youtube channel hi there my name is lillian and this is a video that you all may have been waiting for this is the second most request video on my channel and i appreciate you all for tuning in to watch it i appreciate you all for leaving me the comments that leads me to do the research to find out more about this hospital as you can see in the title today we are going to tema to check out international maritime hospital located in tema ghana i am excited for this one even though it took me a while i was back and forth because of the name international maritime hospital i have thought that is a private hospital mind you i do not have anything against the private hospitals i'm going to get to them okay but i'm focusing on the government's own that is open to the general public first the later we will do the private of course the government alone can't do it without the assistance of the incredible health investors amazing private hospitals that decides to invest their resources into giving back to the to humanity but first the public first like i've stated so let's go to tema and take a look at this 130 bed capacity hospital located in tema and i will be back let's go Zurück nach Haus, ja. Yeah. Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen, zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen. Now, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Don't you think it's time Ghana starts medical tourism? Putting that into advertisement, yeah, start advertising. I mean, like you are capable. With all the hospitals I've seen here, Ghana is due for medical tourism a lot of people are going to patronize you even the people that think you have nothing in you they are going to patronize you and that's one thing with health when it comes to health <laughs> we are all humble it's like i didn't tell you to subscribe please subscribe if you have not subscribed ensure you on the bell so that anytime i upload a video youtube will notify you now guys <laughs> and please of course don't forget to like this video for a minute i was thinking okay it's not for the public and all that but upon finding out that it is built by the government of ghana for the marine industry or by the marine industry it is open to the general public so the international insight is what i didn't get but i realized that from research due to the equipment is ultra modern hospital well equipped i'm yet to see a public hospital in ghana that is not well equipped if all the hospitals are well equipped this is like a case of go big or go home kind of situation and it kind of sets the standard so high for the private hospitals and i cannot wait to get to that time where we take a look at them but first we are doing this one and let me get back to the this one so getting videos on this ultra modern hospital was the hardest thing i have got to do ever since i started creating content around my new addiction my exception about the hospitals and all that these have got to be the most difficult so whatever i can find you guys make do with it all right i don't know if we're going to meet the doctors like we have we have always done but in case we can't do that take it from me i love you please if you have access to this hospital and you have the best you know you have great equipment and you're allowed to film Biko, bring it to the public all right so first let's go see let's get to the hospital and uh, see what we can find the equipment and anyone we can find and then i will be back all right let's go Ich 
wieder zurück nach Haus, ja. Yeah. Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen, zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen. Ich fühle dich sicher von Ostern. I, seriously, I honestly cannot wait to see what private hospitals in Ghana looks like. Apart from the one that I reacted to here once, I couldn't resist the urge to do it. Charlie, it's too amazing not to talk about. It's too good to ignore. Apart from that one, I cannot wait to see what private hospitals in Ghana really looks like. When the government is already doing all of this, I'm wondering what the private own will be like because they have they have got to beat the government and i cannot wait if they did or didn't but i don't think there's any private hospital both in ghana or anywhere in west africa that can beat the university of ghana teaching hospital and this one and of course the bank hospital i don't think there's any all right but if you know any I would like to take a look. So now when we are talking about hospital, it is not just the beautiful building and all that, but I think in Ghana, it is beyond just the equipment and the well-trained doctor, doctors and nurses in a hospital. It, they go as, I mean, they give it to you like the massive buildings and all that. And I don't know if you understand why I have been hitting on this. I grew up in my country with a wealthy family i appreciate them for raising me each time my madam we call her mommy for sick we usually take her to a hospital in lagos nigeria that is one of the top private hospitals in lagos nigeria and we don't usually take blankets or food for her and we don't usually go to the hospital to sleep there they tell us to go home and not to bother that she is well taken care of upon discharge we pay the bill like it's check they give them check is a lot of money so when any of us the domestic staffs in the house fall sick then we get to struggle we go to the public health centers and uh, it wasn't it wasn't something that i like from them wasting your time to the dirty environment in most cases it kind of make me feel like growing up after all of these experiences where i could see the poor and the rich stay like this and they get treated in two different ways entirely it kind of inspire me to appreciate when i see where a country is giving equal rights to its citizen be it poor or rich seriously this is why i'm obsessed with the health care system in ghana and we are still on it like i'm taking a look at the ashanti region and i think ashanti should come last yeah hold on you guys there are so many hospitals in the ashanti region that are not even in kumasi that are big and there are so many others i mean a lot of people call my attention oh tamale check this place i'm coming to your city and your town and even your village all right we are going to take a look at all that and at the same time i am worried for Ghanaians because i don't think that with all of this that you have you can be like you can live like me so god bless your country god bless our country ghana god bless ghana so that we get better and bigger all right so god bless every ghanaian to be able to make the wisest political decision that will give the country more because i don't want you to struggle trust me i have struggled that is why i appreciate everything you see in ghana because that is like something that i didn't grow up with to get it and it's a problem and that is why you see every nigerian comes to ghana and they are shocked now we are talking about nigerians in public we are not talking about the ones we don't know but i see all of this and sometimes when the media wants to criticize the government in ghana they do it with all boldness they do it as if the person have not done anything and then when you go online you see massive is it the criticism that is helping you guys to achieve all this or it's just what 
because i don't get it we are black i mean you guys teach us the secrets mm. tell us what you are doing right that we are not doing even though i've been warned never to call the name, <laughs> the name of my country again <laughs> Jehovah, i wish i can listen to them and or fear them not to but i cannot because that is unfortunate that i'm from there and unfortunate for the people who want me out and also unfortunate for myself because i don't want to have to drag the name into whatever i'm saying but like for me to give you a background of what i'm talking about i need to refer back to my origin i need to refer back to some documents which is back home to my country back home in my country you get this so yeah seriously you may not appreciate anything that you see in ghana until god forbid you will never be like me you will never be like you will never struggle okay ghana will never struggle all right you will never struggle i pray for you you never struggle no matter what you never struggle and this is why i'm telling you no foreigner should push you to send them out of your country it brings about a whole lot of downfall we are africans for those who don't believe in karma and nature and all that and in god i do believe and i don't like the idea yeah i don't like the idea of having to send anyone out or whatever if anyone offends you catch them and throw them away out of your country and leave the others to be i think don't you think it's time ghana starts i think it's time ghana go into this medical tourism i don't know if it's only me or you think so too because yeah this they have, what what are we looking for abroad why are people going to spend so much abroad but the truth is i know that with all of these videos online people that are looking for better healthcare system may have started patronizing ghana right away that one i know certainly all right and it's a good thing so let us appreciate everything that we have and hold our government accountable for more i love this video i love these hospitals if you know more let me know and i will check it out now some people don't know why i do these videos sometimes it's not just because i'm obsessed with the videos i want to do this so that it could be of help to anybody in any part of the world or africa let's say in africa especially west africa that needs medical attention well equipped hospitals all the right doctors and the right equipment i'm doing these videos for them not just because i'm obsessed with the videos or my new discovery no i'm doing this because i know somebody needs it there are people that need all of this hospital they want you know to go abroad for medical treatment the cost of visa the delay and all that waiting for the hospital to write back to them and having them to spend monies or flights on flight tickets and all that the cost of it is just so much and this is my own contribution to these families and people who may be in need come to ghana ghana is due for medical tourism even though they don't feel like that it's time you make advertisements call on other people in africa to come and receive treatment now come to think of it monies that could be spent on transportation on flight tickets to europe or somewhere outside of africa just for the flight ticket alone the money for just the flight ticket alone can take care of your health in ghana your bill can take care of your bills in ghana like your treatments it can cover that it can cover that and if care is not taking you have change left you can cover that because you are a foreigner you're not under the head insurance scheme in ghana so it is expected that you are going to spend more than we that are entitled for all of this so if i were you instead of going to abroad instead of going to europe or okay i can't speak for india i know they offer some precise some specific treatments that even in europe you cannot find so i won't be speaking for people that are thinking of going to india you can go i pray that you find your healings but if you have any medical issues that you want to leave your country think of ghana yeah this is not for anything think of ghana come here quietly nobody needs to know get your health issues sorted out and go back home i'm telling you the truth 
<laughs> a lot of things are already in place in Ghana, especially when it comes to health and education. And of course, the security system here is on point. The reason I may not have been emphasizing much on security, how good it is in place and all that, how well it is in place and all that, it is because I believe Ghanaians are playing a role. I strongly believe that 95% of Ghanaians are playing a role and that is why the security here is good apart from the fact that they have well-trained police officers that genuinely loves their country and that uh, and can give their life to defend their country the Ghanaians are making it easy so if i don't talk about anytime i'm talking about education and health and i don't include security it is not because it, that area is lacking it is because that area I believe Ghanaians are playing a role. I'm going to come back here with another hospital video or maybe a school. Anything that interests me that I want to put out there for people who may be searching for it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Ciao.